This is J Max Poet 24 7. I'm J Mac. Thank you for coming to my channel. I appreciate it. You're stopping by. Before we go any further, if this is your first time coming to the channel, before we go any further, I'm asking you if you could please click the like button for me. And the reason why I'm asking you to hit the like button for me, hitting the like button means a lot and when you're doing content on YouTube. And um, it helps the algorithm and allow my video to be an option to be selected to be seen. Uh, so I'm really asking you if you could just please hit the like button. And by all means, I'm, if you have not done so by now, I'm asking you to subscribe to the channel. This is a sports channel. I love talking about sports more so uh, the Dallas Cowboys, the Tar Heels, the Lakers, and those may be some of your favorite teams. So I do enjoy talking about those teams, particular teams. But I love sports in general and talk about all types of sports. So if you have something you'd like to talk about, that's, you know, hit me up on um, XR, formerly, um, you know, Twitter, uh, and uh, send a comment here on the channel, what you'd like to discuss, and let's get with it, you know. Um, but this video is about the game last night, the, Tur the North Carolina Tar Heels against the playing against the Kentucky uh, Wildcats. Um, if you're a Carolina fan, as, as, as like me, you're disappointed. You're disappointed in the performance or the display of performance that was on the court yesterday. Uh, North Carolina, what does that mean? The University of North Carolina basketball. When you play. North Carolina. You don't play against the players. You play against the name. Again, it could be a mid-major team or a blue blood. Kentucky is a blue blood. They played against the name. That's rep. They want that rep. They want to beat that rep. They want to beat North Carolina's reputation. They want to take that reputation for their, for their, for their own. And you have a bunch of freshmen who already know about, you know, they was, they, first of all, they was, most of them probably was rec recruited by North Carolina, by coach, whoever the coach is this time, Coach Davis, you know, and decided to go elsewhere, decided to go to Kentucky, another, to, to another Blue Blood, or to whomever. They play against the name. And so when you put on that jersey, that now the jersey I'm referring to is that University of North Carolina jersey, basketball, no matter what sport you're playing, but let's talk about basketball here. You're playing for that name. You're not playing for yourself. You're playing for, your, for the name of the school because the name has earned a reputation of being the best in the classroom and on the court. That name has earned its reputation. And so I was a little leery about the fact that uh, we had so many days off. We had a lot of days off. And... It was, when I say days off, without really live basketball action, how fast the game is. And although we have played some games already into the season, it's still early, and there's a lot of games off. And uh, I'm, I'm, I started watching the game yesterday, and I didn't finish the entire game. I didn't watch the entire game because I was so disappointed. I knew within about three or four minutes into the game, how the game was going to play. I didn't see the effort. I didn't see the fortitude. I didn't see the mental toughness that was required to play another a high-level school, high-level basketball team, Kentucky, another blue blood, because they came to play against North Carolina. Not the player, but the University of North Carolina. And so I saw that right away. Cormac Ryan. God bless him, and I'm glad we have him. And he has a reputation to be a really good shooter, but he's like uh, it's like a hit and miss right now, and right now it's a lot of misses. But he's 25 years old, I believe. I could be wrong. Forgive me if I am. So he's been with in the in in, in the, he's, been, he's been playing basketball at the collegiate level for a long time now. To me, to me, when Cormac Ryan comes into the game. He starts out so very fast. Don't you think it's about time, about time that he let the game come to him? He has earned. He should have show, shown that he's okay. Let me slow down. Let me see the let the game come to me. But he starts out so in my in my view reckless, and then there's a turnover, and he's so anxious to pass the ball, and he's not giving the receiver a a good pass. 
where the where the, who, who's receiving the ball can go with the flow. That's that's just my view when I see Cormac Ryan. Um, so I'm really really disappointed in our upperclassmen. I mean. Let's 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 talk about Baycott right now. It's my view and a lot of other Carolina faithfuls that when there's a big game, I mean a really big game, and they have athletes in the front court and or have the same girth that Baycott Amando has. M Amando is very pedestrian, extremely. I mean, his reputation, this is his fifth year in the league, in the college, I shouldn't say the league. And I don't see any really progression in being assertive on the offensive end. I just don't see that. I do see a progression at the free throw line. If, if, if Mondo playing in the league, which when I'm saying the league, the NBA, if he's playing in the league, he's going to be a, a, a far bench player. And we'll get him because of his size to spare someone who's in foul trouble. If he make it to the league. Otherwise, um, uh, um, Amando should have been in the league by now. But if he's going away, if he's disappearing right now still in his fifth year of college, that, that's telling to me. Let's look at the numbers here. Amando played 31 minutes. 31 minutes. He had nine points. Six rebounds. This is the guy that leads the University of North Carolina with the most rebounds in the history of the school. And he finished the game with six rebounds. You know who was the leading rebounder of the game for the Kentucky game last night, yesterday? R.J. Davis, barely six feet tall. R.J. had seven rebounds, barely six feet tall. He was the leading rebounder in the game yesterday. Forgive me, I have a little sinus issue going on, so you may it may be picked up on the mic here. Um, so I apologize if I'm, I'm trying to hold it back. But I want to get this video out real quick because this is Football Sunday, and, and I need to you know speak on that later on. But but right now I'm a uh, I got Tar Heels all on my brain right now, my brain housing group, and um, Harrison Ingram. He had he played 34 minutes, 10 points, four rebounds. Three assists. Shot 40% in field goal. He was two for four from the free throw lines. We could have used those after two, two foul, foul shots. Uh, points, I should say. Not foul shots, but two points. Elliot Cadeau, uh 18 minutes. He only hit three points. Three assists. But here's the kicker here. The turnover battle. North Carolina had 17 total turnovers. Kentucky 13. K Kentucky won the game. 17. That, let's, look at, let's really look at that. 17 times of turning the ball over is giving the other team an extra 17 times with the ball. With an opportunity to score two or three points. Possibly four. 17 times of turnovers. And R.J. Davis led the team with what? R.J. had five turnovers? Five. R.J. hit his normal 27 points, and we, that's good. Because without R.J., where would this team be? He's six feet tall. He, I mean... He's not expected to be a high draft pick in in the league next year. Uh, this later this this season, is yes, this year I should say. 
Oh, 2024. Um, Withers, he played 19 minutes. He had four points, three rebounds. I'm, I'm scratched at four rebounds. Four rebounds. I mean, what is he, 6'8, six, 6'9? Six, Zayden High played only two minutes, one rebounds, no points. I would like to see Zayden play more. And according to Coach Davis, he has to show it in practice. And I know he's extremely green, but he, to me, he has to fire. He has to have fire in his eyes when he wants to get on the court. But Cormac Ryan, Cormac Ryan, to me, he has earned his right to be back on the bench and work his way back into the starting lineup. And what I'm getting at is, because of his play early in the game, his propensity to not throw the ball or pass the ball to a um, another player where the player can move slowly, I'm going to say slowly or, or true through the game and uh, not have to gather himself when the ball comes. Uh, a lot of times Cormac Ryan does not... Uh, he does not appear where he wants to throw the ball, but now he's in a, a precarious situation where he needs to get rid of the ball because either he's going to go out of bounds, fall out of bounds, or double dribble. Uh, he just seems kind of hectic at times. And then, be honest with you. Come on. Let's be, 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 be real with me. When he's shooting the ball, do you feel like it's going to go in? Or are you hoping that it's going in? And that's what it looks like is going through his mind as well. Like, he's hoping that it's going to go in. Um, I'm just, I mean, pregame and before the game started, the interviews, uh, you know, throughout the week, Coach Davis stressed about rebounds. You know, more particularly, he's talking about, you know, offensive rebounds. And he, he spoke on that. And, let's see, Ingram hit one. RJ hit two, Baycott hit two, that was it. What, uh, really? We, f five offensive rebounds for an entire game? Just five? So you can't, you can't put this on coach about, you know, you know, it's his coaching. He's stressed about rebounding, but it's about executing. And then when you have upperclassmen, you have two seniors on this court that play in the final four. In a championship game, and knowing you're playing against a blue blood, and you don't, you know, you have five, again, turnovers, Davis, five turnovers. Come on, come on, RJ. I, I, I mean, we know we need you, we need your scoring, but you cannot. And he, by his own admission, he knows he has to be better than that. But I, I had, to, I could not watch that game, that, that full game. I, I do not want to watch. Now I'm okay. I'm one of those fans that's really okay. I mean, if, if we have to lose to a better team, I'm okay with that. But I want to see the effort. I want to see the, I want to see the IQ, the, whatever the sport, the basketball IQ, the football IQ, the baseball IQ. I want to see the IQ at that level. How, you know, I want to see that. I want to see fundamental basketball. I want to see the, you know, I want to see you want it just as bad as the other team. And Kentucky appeared to me they wanted more. They were they, the 50-50 balls. It looked like Kentucky got the 50-50 balls. So I was really disappointed um, in what I was looking at. So I could not finish the game. I, I just could not. Um, it's, it's disheartening. This you know you we we had, we was not able to see the Tar Heels play for several for several games for I mean for several days and and then when you finally get to see them you see this. And you're playing, you know, again, not a mid-major, not a uh, school that's not ranked, but uh, you're playing against a blue blood, and you will hope that, you know, we're playing, again, Kentucky has a rep. They have a name, Kentucky. We're playing against Kentucky, you know, beat them again. You're not playing against any particular player, but D.J. Wagner, he played, he knew he was playing against the Tar Heels, North Carolina, and he showed up and showed out. That's what he did. This is J Max Sports 24 Sam. Again, I am your host. And if you got this far, I'm asking you to go ahead and like. If you have not done so already, again, I just try to explain that it's, and if you could just hit that like button for me, it's free. 
and it helps the algorithm and the videos up more. So I'm a Tar Heel to I die. No matter what we put on the court, I think again. I think Coach Davis. I put a put a product in front of us that should uh, produce some W's and um, get in the tournament with a propensity to get in the final four. And once you're in the final four, anything could happen. J Max Sports 24/7.